I'm Jolene Cheney along with Kevin Ogle. A Payne County mother is furious tonight after she says a high school teacher berated and threatened her daughter and her daughter's classmate. She shared a video of the alleged incident online but says when she showed it to the school principal, her daughter and another girl were suspended. News 4 Sky Tour K has that video and talk to the parents about what happened in the classroom. Megan Wood says this video is of her daughter's freshman English teacher at Ripley High School. The teacher seemingly upset about damage to a new dictionary. We want to let you know this report does contain some strong language. This pisses me off. Yes, I use that word on purpose. This is the start of a three minute cell phone video taken by a student at Ripley High School. Her mother, Megan Wood, tells News 4 the voice is her daughter's freshman English teacher, allegedly angry about a damaged dictionary. If this happens again, heads will roll. I am not playing. This is my dictionary. It is in my class. I asked the school to buy this. This book cost $22. Wood's daughter then played the video for the school principal. If this happens again, I can guarantee you one of two things. You will buy my book and I will probably get you suspended. That's all very threatening, very inappropriate to say to any age child. Wood says her daughter and her classmate, who also took a video, were suspended for making the recordings. Both mothers telling us they're furious their daughters will be missing three days of class over this. I feel like it's ridiculous, honestly. I feel like it's giving the impression to our young kids, like, hey, you do the right thing, you report something, and you're getting in trouble for it. I was mad because, I mean, a teacher is not supposed to act that way anyway to a child, period. And then she's doing it to my child. Uh -uh. Both parents have made their wishes clear to Ripley Schools administration. I mean, I personally think that she needs to be fired from the school. I don't think that she needs to be around kids if that's how she's going to treat them. News 4 called Ripley Schools four times today and sent two emails as well, asking for a response to the allegations. We have yet to hear back.